So this is the Anycubic Viper. It was just released a few months ago. I got my hands on one. <laughs> anyway, this Anycubic Viper, right? It has a G-code on the SD card that comes with the machine. And the G-code is an owl. Let me get you this owl. See these owls? I printed a couple of them. Now, this G-code that comes with the printer, this owl that you print, you see it? There was, there was some thumping noise. At the start of the print, when I do these owls, I've done about four of them, it's like some thump. It was like thump, thump. I've got another video about that. And <laughs> I thought there was something wrong with the machine. So I take off the four screws that take this plastic thing off that got the fans in there. There's a fan there and a fan there. And you get this plastic shroud off with four screws at the back. And I checked all the bolts in there, had a look at everything. Nothing was broken, all the bolts were tight, so there's nothing wrong with in there, but that's where the thumping was coming from. But you know what I've discovered? I just put a profile on Cura, the slicing thing on the computer, and it sliced, a f I printed a few other things, I've sliced a few other items and printed them off, no thumping at all. The only time it ever does thumping like there's something wrong with the printer is when I used this G code that came with the printer to make this owl. And you see at the bottom of the owl? Have you seen it yet? Do you know what I'm talking about? Right at the bottom. You see how there's a gap there and it's hanging over on the side there? It's like the layer is shifting, right? Like that shouldn't be like that. That should be... It's like a piece of a piece of wood the owl's sitting on. Now, there's something wrong with the G code that they give you in the box with this machine. So when the G code go, when it's doing that, the first few layers or slices, the tip or the nozzle is smashing against the table and smashing against this bottom part here and it's making it move shift layers it's like it's crashing so they they give you a, they give you a G code that's sliced incorrectly in the box with your printer which if you ran did a hundred thousand of these you'd probably break your printer because it's always crashing at the start isn't that so weird? You think they would uh, test the G-code before sending it out to people? Because look, I'll show these other ones I printed. Look, this is the first one I made. And you see how the first one is like one whole piece. It crashed a bit. You see on the corner there, it was crashing. <laughs> and then, this one here. See how it's had the layer shift at the bottom? How it's shifted over? And it's getting worse and worse. Because the bloody nozzle is crashing against the part at the bottom. Because there's something wrong with the code. And I'll just add that video to the end of this so you can see and hear and watch the thumping it does. So you know what I'm talking about. So here's the video of it crashing or thumping in three, two, one. Here is the Anycubic Viper. And I'm just plugged it in, leveled the bed. Now I'm running that OWL G code makes the owl that's on the SD card when you get the thing in the box you hear that thump when it does rapid movements it has some horrible thump I'm 
What's that? <laughs>